it's Tuesday! It's Tuesday! And we have had to come off-road immediately. Well, um, busy, busy, busy today. Busy place. Um, so where we usually park at, at the gate, um, there was a van, which was Joan Mary. Hi, Joan Mary. Um, and there was a, a jeep with a lovely lady who's got a golden retriever that I say hi to. Um, and there was two cars, so we couldn't park there because, uh, look who I've got today. We've got tons of dogs! Oh my god! Um, so I'm going to do my talking while I'm walking. But I'm just going to show you. Stick man! Hi there, Guardian of the Forest. No, we're going this way, we're going to do is our tracks today. Um, so, um, Jeff commented on YouTube and he said um, he was unaware that the terriers are all mine. So let me do um, a slow reintroduction as to who's who and who they belong to. So let's do my guys first. So these dogs are my dogs, okay? Uh, and the first of my dogs is Ruri. Ruri, uh, it's a Celtic name, Gaelic name, uh, Scottish slash Irish. And if, you, if you're English and you can say brewery, where they make beer, just say brewery without the B. And it's Ruri. It's not Rory and it's not Rudy. It's Ruri. Ruri. So phonetically it would be R double O. R E E R U R E. So it's Ruri. Okay, so Ruri is mine. Hi. Ruri. Ruri's very busy. He's like, yes to the off road. Paths are rubbish. Ruri is eight years old and he's a Jack Russell. And he's very, very barky and he's got a lot to say for himself. And Ruri is the father. He is the father of the three pups. And this is Jinx. And she's also mine. And Jinx is three. And she looks like her dad. And she's uh, very, very mad. She's crazy, crazy. Um, oh god, that's Nelson. Nelson is not mine. Uh, he's my timeshare terrier. He belongs to my friend Patrick. Um, but he's with me every day, Monday to Friday. And I do love him just as much as my own dog. So he's not mine. He's not my terrier. Pixie is mine. She is also the daughter of Ruri. So this is Pixie, uh, fondly known as Pixie Plum and a Waggy Bum because you just ask her. Pixie, Pixie, you so happy? Look at that tail. Look. Pixie Plum and a Waggy Bum. Is your bum wagging all the time? Yes. Uh, and this is her, I like to say it's her twin brother because they're almost, they're almost very, very similar. This is Begbie and Begbie is named after Francis Begbie or Franco! That's your nickname, isn't it, Franco? Uh, who is a character in the Irvin Welsh book Trainspotting um, or, or the movie Trainspotting, which you may have seen, which is a, an epic tale of Edinburgh junkies. <laughs> and uh, Begbie is a very feisty character in that novel and film and <coughs> I've always wanted to get Russell called Begbie and here he is and he's living up to his name so he's also mine. Uh, also mine is wee hairy Hector. Hi Hector. Big 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 guys like that. Camera digging. So Hector is four. Uh, the, the three pups, the three pups are only three years old. They turn three in April. Uh, Hector is four. You will be five on November the 6th this year won't you? And those are all my dogs. Now hi yes you're mine should you? He's my wee baby. Um, Flora! Flora the Collie is not mine, she belongs to Sandra. So she's very, very beautiful. And she's also very, very shouty. And she likes to shout at things. And she likes to herd everyone and direct us where to go and tell us to hurry up quite a lot. Um, Nelson's off. See you later. Where are you going? Nelson! He's away. He's gone, gone. This is why he wears bells. They were just going to run away from him. Um, <clears throat> so Flora is a client dog. And there's Archie Pug. Archie Pug belongs to my friend uh, Ewan and Natalie. And he's just the bestest. We've had him since he's a, he was a puppy. Haven't we? Yes. And Archie used to live around the corner from me. And, and he's moved. Uh, but he's not moved too far away. So he can still come out to play. Which is good news because everyone loves a potato. And I call him Action Potato because he just looks like a big baked potato. Don't you? He's like, yes, I am. I am very good at being a potato. I am full of carbohydrates. <laughs> Starchy carbs. Um, this is Nala. Nala is a Welsh terrier. Nala bear, come here. Uh, you might wonder why we call her Nala bear. I did ask her mum Claire. She's got, um, come here, we show you your paws. Nala, Nala, biscuits. Biscuits, come here. Come here, come here, come here. Let's, let's see your paws. Come here, please. Uh, she has paws like a wee teddy bear. Look. Don't they look like teddy bear paws? They're very cute. Um, Nala is on her flexi weed because <laughs> she tricked me for two whole weeks when she first started. Oh, there's a dead balloon. Hold on. Because we can't have that lying about. This is what happens when you release balloons into the wild. 
into the <laughs> into the wild, as opposed to captive balloons, which don't fare very well. They always die. <laughs> anyway, no, they don't eat it. Don't eat it. I'll kill you, and then you'll be dead, and I'll be very sad. So we're just gonna um, gonna scrunch it up and put that in my put that in my wee poo bag. Yeah. So Nala tricked me for a full two weeks when she first started, and she was very very good, and she didn't run away. And then that was just kind of her first two weeks were in local parks and uh, she was great and then the minute we kind of went out out uh, she caught the scent of something and she oh, fucked right off <laughs> um, but she did have a big massive long line on but she was AWOL for a few hours and um, I had to go and find her and I did find her and um, she was down the ditch being very quiet not injured or anything like she had just been chasing something and she refused to make any noise so that was an adventure so ever since then uh, uh, she's been on a lead and she'll never ever get off a lead because she doesn't listen. Sure you don't? Nala! 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 That's <laughs> me. <laughs> so that's why Nala's on a lead. Oh, she's crazy, but we love her. So we usually have Nala three days a week. Um, <clears throat> I think that's everybody's out, everybody have today. Um, yeah, so Nelson's out today. And Nala. And Flora. And Archie Pug. So, because we've got all of these dogs... Um, yes, because we've got all of these dogs, we couldn't park at our normal spot and walk along the path because there was a high volume of cars, which means there'd be people on the path. And I'll just talk to you. Hi. Hi. Um, it's just not good etiquette um, when you're a dog walker to uh, intimidate members of the public who are out enjoying nature just like you are. It's not cool to, to make them feel uncomfortable when you're walking towards them, the nine or ten dogs. So, and also when my guys are on the lead and Nelson's on the lead and Nala's on the lead and they see another dog, they're just like rah, 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 and it sounds horrendous and nobody likes that so um, so we drove further up the path and we parked at a completely, completely, completely off-road bit but there was another car there and then we came up, we saw it in the distance we saw somebody with two wee Jack Russells and somebody else with a Labrador and their wee boy so we just ducked out of the woods and now we're in our part, our part of the woods where we usually go and here we shall stay so we shall be doing up and down and kissing and crossing and it's um it's good fun and this is why i make trails because uh, the dogs get to know the roots and as you can see everybody's very very busy and um, even the potato does enjoy this doing the sniffers because you like being outside in the in the wild don't you you're a bit of a wild potato He's a dial sniff Nala's bum just to make sure it's you in case it's an imposter because you never know. Um, so that's what's happening today. Um, lots of uh, there shall be mousing. So we'll go, we'll wander about here. We'll do the usual. We'll go down to the water and then we'll go along a bit. And then because we can just basically traverse up and down, up and down, up and down. Um, nobody in their right mind would um would come out here for fun because, um, as you've seen, if you don't know where you're going, you can end up. Uh, snatch deep in a swamp which is always fun so that's it that's the plan for today it looks like it's going to start raining but that's okay because i got my poncho i need to order myself some some proper boots uh, i've got holes in my other boots um, and i get a bit sweaty in my waders which isn't very nice oh so that's what we're doing today that's who's here um no abandoned farmhouse today oh my god i'm gonna fall over oh my god <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Look, this is where it happened. No, was it this bit happened? No, this is a different bit. It might have been. Please don't jump up on me when I'm in a a pre oh, precarious situation. Look, this is how I get myself into trouble. Do you know what I mean? Look, I'm actually. <laughs> but mum, we want up. But look, I'm not even across yet, and you're up there. This is terrible. Jump down, please. Get off me. You're quite heavy. Five point nine kilos. And I weighed you last week. Right, I need to go over here. I wanted to. Oh no! So yeah, um, no, no spooky abandoned farmhouse today. Just uh, dogs doing dog stuff in the woods. So we shall see what we shall see, and we shall check in as always. If anything else exciting happens, but for now, that is damp, mossy, muddy. Oof. Where did you go? Look at your legs, lady. <laughs> She's like I'm ignoring you. Um, having some fun. Tuesday crew. Who's all here. Woo!